Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jeff and we're gonna go over a little project that I'm starting. I uh, went to the mart and got a, I think it's like a two and a half gallon uh, little glass cookie jar. And at one time I was gonna make a terrarium out of it, but plans have changed and we're gonna make a scud tank out of it. So uh, stay tuned and we'll go over it. All right, so this is where the little uh, tank's gonna be. Get a little uh, unveiling shot right there. It's really close to the door, and the doggers want out. Go outside, Casher. You want it out? No, he wants back in. All right. So I was worried about temperature because it sits so close to the door. But uh, let's get the lights flicked on. All right. Shut this, get the glare down. So there it is. Sits right next to my Nebula Steel 29 gallon. Um, like I said, I was worried about temp. So it's 15 degrees out right now and we're sitting at 68. It's not too bad. I think they'll do fine. We're gonna try it anyways was going to go and call it the no filter tank, but it's just so close to my air pumps that I ran a T off there and ran it around behind the tank and the flow of the air. I'm going to go very, very little, but just enough to say it's in there. And when I had uh, initially filled it up you could see that it actually turns the tank just with that little bit of current so uh, one stone and a little mixture of pebble and sand and it's about I don't know inch and a half two inches or so but uh, we'll get the uh, scuds in here and we'll finish the update Okay, so for the last four days, the scuds have been in the specimen container, hanging out, you know, near this window. They're currently rode in on some Fizzidin moss, which I'm really excited to get. And you can see the moss that I got, it's really nice and bushy. It's going to be hard to probably see it in the container. But, uh, anyways, we're going to, it's probably five degrees warmer right where they are now so we're going to take the container and slowly get them adjusted to where their new location is uh hanging on the side of this tote is what they've been doing a little spoiler i'm going to make a video on these guys but these are my pleco fry and they're super 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 tiny but there's like one there i think they're two weeks old focus not gonna focus zoom back out anyways like i said there'll be an update on that it's just a teaser we're gonna grab this specimen container and uh we'll get it moved over maybe okay, we'll just let it hang out there for like an hour or so and uh, then we'll, uh, I think I'll drain some of the water out and then just dump the container. Hopefully that'll work. All right, the great thing about the back porch is I have a uh, drain tube right off the edge of the porch. So I'm not sure this hose is going to reach it though, but we're not going to pull out much. Got most of it in the tube, so that was fun. Okay guys, well this is my first time I've ever dealt with scuds, so I'm interested if any of the viewers have any experience. And if you do, uh, leave me a comment on how successful you are on isolating them just to certain tanks. Because um, I think that a lot of people that have them end up having them everywhere, which isn't what I want. 
but uh, I'm interested to see what the success is with some other people. So if you got them, tell me your story in the comments and uh, I'll be interested to read it. Thank you. Okay, well, this is my 20 long and I think I'm going to add something with the Fizzitin' Moss. A little spoiler, you remember how my shrimp tank was struggling, it is... Got shamplets, shampers everywhere. But I uh, have to do an update on this someday. What I think I'm going to do is come in and trim off this macaranda. I think that red with the, uh, the fizzing moss will look really neat. And I've never had this in hard water and it just struggles in soft water. And I know this tank's super foggy. And that's because the amount of wood that I got over here for some reason it just fogs up the water like crazy But we're gonna Come in and trim that off, but I'm gonna try and keep this video short. So I'll just do that off camera You'll see me add it back There's the horse. That's rascal. He is getting a little old and he likes to go outside a lot. Go. Mm, no. He likes to look out. Like, thinking about going outside. What a weirdo. Alright. Come on. Check it, check it, check it. So I think I scooped up five pieces of the Rotalia. You got some horrible glare with that door open uh, we'll get it planted I don't know what kind of update you guys want to see you know every 30 days 60 day never uh, let me know and uh, I'll try to make it happen dropped it all right well I hope you guys got some visual because I can't see so what I'm gonna do just plant a little one there. Come on. Yeah, a little one there. I love this gravel that I got because it is like super heavy, dense, makes planting super easy. I got half of them planted. I'm going to switch the camera just so I can catch that shot, hopefully. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, you're going to get super shaky because I got nowhere to prop it up. And hopefully we don't have to use this. All I'm doing, like I said earlier, this it's almost like pea gravel, but just not. And I can't tell you where I got it, and I can't tell you how to get it. But that's all I got of it is enough to fill this jar. I super like it. Did add some white sand to it, and. Uh, just really really neat but it's rock I'm super excited about it but five pieces of Rotalia I think and I call it Rotalia again this is not Rotalia this is Macaranda so don't message me saying you want the red Rotalia because I'm not gonna know what you're talking about it's uh Macaranda but we'll see got wet fingers It looks way better under that 2.0 light than it does this T12, but that's what it is. And I gotta stop adding stuff because we're gonna be in the 20 minute video. Okay, these guys have been propped up while we've been playing around in the other tanks. So, goal is that we have zero scuds in the container. I ain't got that many to start with, I only got six. And, uh,. They better not all be males or this ain't going to make a very good colony. So, with the odd number, I'm just sloshing it around. Maybe they'll grab the fizzit in and uh, take the journey. Oh, I should not have planted the Retalia first. I called it Retalia again. That did not work well. That did not slosh out well. Ah! All right, gonna do a quick inspection, make sure they all got out. Okay, what I did is I just reached behind me and grabbed a bottle of water, filled the bag up. 
Looks like there's some trumpet snails that are left over, but I don't see any scuds. So give her a little slosh. And I needed to top off again. I'm just going to probably have to replant that. Uh, okay, I might have to cut that down, but let's see. Told you I love that gravel. Super dense quartz. I'll try and throw the name up of what it was, but even with all that sloshing against those plants that I just planted, it, uh, it didn't care. It didn't even come out of the gravel. Visiting moss, look at that. That is beautiful. And I was like, when I first got it, I was like, how is that moss so clean? I don't know. There's scuds in it, but it, uh, I don't hate them. Um, actually kind of intrigued with them. And I kind of want to grab that moss with my with my little tweezers and pull it apart but not sure not sure it's sunk in the container maybe I just need to play with it sink 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 grab it and shake it shake it it. By shaking it, it's little pieces coming off, which is good because they will break off into other little clumps. And hopefully, I'll have lots of visiting moss because I sure like it. I'm gonna tuck it under. So this is where the video is gonna get long. Tuck it under the rock, like there, and the other one sank. And so all I got to do is. Uh, that looks really good. That's like a five minute aquascape. Alright. Well, thanks for everybody that uh, was patient enough to watch along. So, uh, I think we're going to call it. I'm going to stop adding stuff and I'm going to, let's see, uh, play the doggers today. Uh, I got to throw this together. One thing about everything I do, after I use it, I throw it in the freezer. Um, just like everything frozen, um, keeps it nice and clean. You're not contaminating anything. And that's part of the why I think I can keep these scuds in this little container by themselves. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching everybody. And, uh, let me know what kind of updates you want to see. And, uh, definitely let me know if you got scuds and if you even know what kind of scud they are. Because, quick little Googling I did, there's like, I don't know, a dozen different kinds that are in the aquarium hobby. And I have no idea what kind I have. So, uh, hopefully they take off. Later. Okay. So one little piece I gotta add into this is the substrate is brand new. The aquarium water all came from this cycle tank. And when I filled it, a sponge filled her in this hang-on bag. I took it out and I wrung it out like you clean any kind of sponge in this tank which kind of made it a little bit cloudy and a little bit tannin colors because in this tank i got pieces of uh, maple stick so that's why i got all them uh trumpet snails going to be in this substrate because they're embedded in that sponge so just so you guys know i uh, did not add them to uh it's pretty much like an instant cycle tank. Um, squeeze off all the beneficial bacteria. All the water changes that I'm going to be doing are going to be siphoned from this tank after I, to refill it. So, just wanted you guys to know.